evil. True or false? I like mechanics. Right. Right. So we saw this on Netflix. Yes, and That's you can right. also see it on CBS.com. That's right. Thanks for asking. It. I, I, I compare. I say that it's X Files meets The Exorcist meets Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. Think about that. Right. X Files meets The Exorcist meets. Yeah. Freddy Krueger and Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. Mike Coulter is uh, David Acosta. Keija Herbers is Christian Bonchert. Asif, uh, excuse me if I butcher this. This is a, a Muslim name, a Islamic name. Asif Madabi. I don't believe in all is Ben Shakir. Michael Emerson is Lyndon Lindell Townsend and Christian Lati is Cheryl Larry, mother of Christian, and her mother is exactly <laughs> absolutely well we're going to get to that it's an ensemble cast piece right yeah and it's a piece about x-files meets exorcism meets freddy krueger and nightmare on elm street i'm just telling you that's that's what this is it is an interesting combination of horror Connected together in a gumbo that brings yeah. interesting television, right? Yeah, there are people out there yep. do bad Let's go through the synopsis again. Hey, this is the synopsis. <laughs> it's X Files meets The Exorcist meets Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street as a basically as a basically single mother of four deals with night terrors, possessions demon spirits and the Catholic Church while trying to remain skeptical about what she sees kind of like which one was skeptical Scully or I think it was Scully right that's the female look it up okay I'm gonna look it up because I you know the X-Files was so frustrating I, yeah, you start putting it down after a while, but yeah. she was just, it was, her like nose. She would see these freaking aliens, you know, and then the next episode, it was as if she never knew they exist. Her, her nose would be bleeding. She would have been probed and still say, I think it was a dream. Right. I mean, it really got to a point where it was like her skepticism was just really to a level that was just like, come on, man. I sound like Biden there. I sound like Biden with his races. <laughs> Miss, come on, man. Yes, it was Scully. Yeah, Scully, and then he was what? What was Mulder? Mulder. That's right. So Scully. So this is. I have diarrhea. X Files meets The Exorcist meets Nightmare on Elm Street. If you are interested in that, you will love this. If you're interested in any of those franchises, you will be interested in this, right? So let's see. Where was I? Okay. So she deals with nightmares, uh, night terror, excuse me, possessions, demon spirits, and the Catholic Church while trying to remain skeptical about what she sees and experiences. And with a hippie-esque mom who didn't get the memo, the 60s are over. Anything can and will happen. Yes. What do you think about it? I mean, I think the episodes, I mean, because we're in it, we're binge watching it now. Yeah. And the episodes, each one can stand alone. That's what I like. If you if you watch the trailer yeah. and you think it's just about a Hannibal Lecter type character mm-hmm. from beginning to end, yeah. this is what you see in the trailer, you will be totally wrong. And as a matter of fact, Hannibal Lecter is nowhere in this. This is... Like I said, X Files meets Exorcist meets yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. So, what was you think? What do you think about how each episode is standing? That's along? what I love about it. And um, like one of my favorite episodes is the one I would call the Halloween episode because it's like so many different storylines going on. I mean, because not only are we dealing with uh, the main characters, right? Uh, mm-hmm. There are people out there who do bad 
the main character, the female kid, she's the only one on the show, right? Well, other than her mom. She has the four daughters, right? Uh -huh. So they have a storyline going on too, and they're dealing with evil. Yes. So, I mean, it's like evil on top of evil. Like, they're dealing with <laughs> evil because uh, someone who is kind of hippie-esque right. opens the door Right. For so, I mean, it's just like multiple storylines going on. And um, meanwhile, while she opened the door for it, right. there's a whole nother evil going yeah. on trying to snatch her. I mean, so it's I mean, twisting and turning. Yeah, so I love how each episode, you're right, stand alone. So, um, it's just well written. The acting is great. I love how each episode is different. That's just like, for instance, Law and Order, right? So it's been on for years, but I don't care if it's an old episode, if it's a new episode. I mean, I'll sit down and watch. If it's on, I'm watching it. It's great, right? Each episode stands alone. It's a different story. Well, this is how evil is. Each episode is a different story. Um, although the main characters are still dealing with maybe the same issues in their personal lives. They're dealing, it's a different story. It's a different story, story. that they're dealing, dealing with, with right. but there are certain plot lines. That's what's so right. genius about it. Certain right. plot lines right. that stick around and follow them Yes, yeah. like a curse. Yeah. It, it follows them yeah. through to yeah. the next episode. So they have their own complex problems right but then they have to deal with a main storyline then their second and third storylines happening all in the same time within this ensemble piece beautifully edited it is just clever well written mm -hmm. just you won't just be disappointed you won't be disappointed the the pacing on it yeah. right it's not a category on my breakdown but the pacing yeah. keeps you moving yeah, through it and you're like what before you know it's the episode is over that's you're right like, and you're like what get, stop doing that get it. especially with the kids you're like get <laughs> so what was, let's go through the rating first before i ask you what you rated okay. cinematography the way that they tell the story, the way that yeah. they move the camera, yeah, the lighting, yeah. the use of shadow yeah. is a 10. Yeah. Lighting and edits, uh, that's the next category, that's a 10. Storyline, through line, 10. Character arc is a 10. City as a character is a 10. Again, the locations within the city, the oh, houses so. they use, the mm. prisons yep. that they use, yep. the rooms within the house that they use, yeah. that's a 10. Yeah. Story beats, how the secondary and third stories follow through as the next main case that has to be solved pushes through in the narrative. That's a 10 in the story beats. Believability. The research on the different type of like night terrors, like right. what you're seeing in this scene right here, yeah. and the different uh, research on uh, exorcism, on being able to tell uh, debunk. Right. If it's real or not. Oh yeah. If you watch the show Ghost Hunters. Right. Yeah. Well, well yeah. researched. Well executed in this piece. It is. There's an episode that kind of gives a tribute to Ghost Hunters. So, right. Yeah. So, what would you give Evil? I would definitely give the it. show. What would you give Evil? I would give the, the show. The CBS.com. <laughs> um, it's well written. Um, very entertaining. Um, the writing is just like clever. Mm-hmm. I would definitely give it a 10 because before you know it, the episode begins, before you know it, it's over. They get so much information in within like that hour, right? Um, so I would definitely give it a 10. Definitely give it a 10. All right, people.